to actually get the spacecraft to Mars, we have to navigate it very accurately and, and deliver it to a, a precise aim point at Mars. Um, at the time we get there, Mars will be 93 million miles away from the Earth, so that, that's quite a long distance. And uh, we have to send the spacecraft to a point um, within about 15 miles of our target aim point, which is pretty small. So once we get to Mars, we actually have an interesting situation. Uh, we actually position the spacecraft out in front of Mars and let Mars come along in its orbit and catch up with us and capture us into orbit. Um, you can think of it much like a quarterback throwing a pass to the, to the receiver. You never throw the ball to where the receiver is right now. You throw it to where he's going to be. You lead him. And we sort of do the same thing with the spacecraft. We send the spacecraft out to where Mars is going to be, and then Mars comes and catches up with us, captures us into orbit. Pre-launch, we did a systematic analysis of all the critical parameters throughout the flight system, and these covered uh, cruise operations, Mars orbit insertion, aero braking, uh, both flight software and software on the ground, and we came up with roughly 220,000 mission critical parameters, uh, any one of which, if, if we get them wrong, uh, could be mission critical. And so we've taken a lot of time to go through each and every one of those parameters and review them with more than one set of eyes uh, to ensure that we get everything right. We have a number of contingency plans that we've uh, developed pre-launch and have, uh, have built upon after launch that allow us to react quickly to problems. Sometimes, inevitably, problems occur that we just don't have a contingency plan for. And in that case, we have to pull together a team, uh, do, do troubleshooting, and sometimes it requires a rapid response and we have to, uh, have to get answers together quickly. And so that's the exciting part about the job. During Mars orbit insertion, the spacecraft will go behind the planet and will lose the signal from the spacecraft for about 25 minutes. When the spacecraft emerges from behind the planet and we reacquire the signal, that'll be our first insight into how Mars orbit insertion really went. And by that point, the burn's complete. And so we'll be in orbit about Mars. Uh, if we're in an un unexpected trajectory, we'll have to react to that quickly. Our plan is to do a, another maneuver to, to decrease our orbit roughly two days after Mars orbit insertion and then immediately after that we start aero braking. So it's a very compressed time frame and in a sense the clock is ticking uh, once we capture into orbit about Mars because we do have some power constraints that limit the amount of time that we can aero brake. 